if I were to summarize everything that I've seen in all of the charts for the top of the market, it has a potential. Hello everyone, Steve Courtney shares his thesis that you are being lied to about Bitcoin halving and the charts are telling a different story. Watch before going mad during Bitcoin halving. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon, and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. The legendary Bitcoin halving is upon us. It's rapidly approaching. But the problem is you are being lied to about the halving and what its potential impact is on the price of Bitcoin. There's a lot of theories out there all over the internet, but some of it is being spread like wildfire and it's poison to your ears because what they're saying is a complete lie. In today's video, I'm going to present the clean, cold, hard facts in the charts. And you are going to leave this video with a sense of clarity and a sense of peace as to exactly how this has happened in Bitcoin's entire history. We're going to look at this upcoming halving, when it's going to happen, but we're also going to compare the 2012, 2016, and 2020 halving because they all had the exact same patterns. If we look at these patterns, we know exactly the patterns that are about to play out before they happen. And what we've got in front of us is a distinct pattern playing out. Do you see this white dotted line? That's when the halving occurs. It occurred right here in 2012. Do you see this dotted line in 2016? This is when that having in the 2020 and the 2024. But what happened before that was the same pattern in every single cycle. Take a look. Right now, we have 2011, the 2011 top, right? It came down in this beautiful bull flag, right? Top of the flag, bottom of the flag, top of the flag, breakout, right? As soon as we broke out of our bull flag, we had a golden cross on the daily chart. Same pattern happened in 2015. We had the top of the market here. We entered a bull flag. We broke out of the bull flag with the golden cross. How about the next cycle? Top of the market here, broke into a bull flag. We broke out of a bull flag right here with the golden cross. Now, if you're wondering what a golden cross is, if you go to the daily chart and you put on the 50 moving average, in the 200 moving average, you wanna see when the 50 crosses back above the 200. That's called the golden cross. So the golden cross happens as we break out of the bull flag. The golden cross happens as we break out of the bull flag. The golden cross happens as we break out of the bull flag. As soon as that happens, you could see we enter phase one. Case in point, look at our recent market. We have this bull flag formation. We broke out of the bull flag here with the golden cross, okay? So the same exact system happened every single cycle of Bitcoin like clockwork. Here's where it gets interesting. After we had this golden cross and a breakout of our bull flag, we moved into what's considered phase one of the bull. Phase one of the bull is this red box here. Phase one of the bull is this red box here, this red box here, this red box here. Phase one of the bull has one distinct rule. It needs to build market structure on our previous resistance from the bear market. So this red box is building support right where our resistance used to be, right here. This red box is building support at right where our resistance used to be, right here. This red box is building support right on where our resistance level used to be, and this red box is building support right on where our resistance level used to be during the bear market. Now that's where things get interesting because we move from phase one of the bull to phase two of the bull. That's this blue box here. Take a look at the blue box, build support directly on top of the red box. And by the way, the halving happens inside of this blue box, inside of phase two, right? Phase two, here. Phase two, here. And technically, if we wanna break it down, this was two phases combined into one. We'll come back to this one in a moment. But the halving happened in phase two here, the halving happened in phase two, and guess what? The halving is projected to happen right inside of our blue box, which is phase two of the market. So phase two of the bull market never gets above our previous all-time high. 
Phase two here never got above the previous all-time high. The halving happened before we entered the a new all-time high. This halving happened again before we reached a new time all-time high. This halving happened in phase two. Phase two does not get near our previous all-time high. In this phase two, in this bull run here, it, it didn't get even close to the previous all-time high here. Just like we're right here and we're not close to the previous all-time high. So what will we expect Bitcoin to be price-wise around the halving? And what do we expect to happen after the halving? Now here's where it gets really dicey. And here's where the internet is just a huge dumpster. Because everybody is saying these absurd numbers. Oh, Bitcoin, 400,000, 500,000, 600,000. And it's only going to get worse, right? It's only going to get worse. And you can see in the comments on any video I make, the, oh, Steve, this time is different. Hey, this time is, I've been making videos for now seven years. And every single year, they tell me this time is different. Because every year, we're comparing to the prior cycles. And the charts never lie. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. But in your minds, you're fed this garbage from social media that this time is different, that this time suddenly we're gonna rally all the way up to 600,000 like that. That is so absurdly ridiculous that it, 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 it's crazy. Like, come on, man, come on, man, like, come on. Wake, wake the hell up. So when we look at the facts, again, not what I think is going to happen, not my opinion, not any. It's If we look at the facts, here's what the facts are saying about the halving. It happens in phase two of the bull. The price will not be near the all-time high. And once the market reaches an all-time high, that's when we have a parabolic top. Any market, if you study any chart, in human history, when we reach a new all-time high in whatever chart you're looking at, the market always moves more to the upside. And for people to say, ooh, it's because of the halving. It's not, this is all priced in. Whenever we get a new all-time high, that's when we have a big move to the upside. Whenever we get a new all-time high, that's when we have a big move to the upside. And by the way, it's the last phase of the bull this parabolic phase, right? Whenever we get a new all-time high, that's the last phase of the bull here. Will it happen again this time? Yes, yes it will. We will have another new all-time high, but it's not gonna be because of the halving. It's gonna be because it's already been priced into the charts and it's because of the cyclical nature of Bitcoin that it's been repeating the same patterns for 12 years that somehow people are still not woken up to the fact that Bitcoin is doing the same patterns every single cycle for 12 years and people are like well steve this time's different we have the etf and there's a lot of deep pockets coming in they've been telling me that for seven years it's literally go back to any video i used to make it's all the same comments this time's different steve you can't compare this cycle to the last cycle because this time's different and then what's funny is these comments that come after that cycle has finished wow steve you were right about that I should have listened to you. I thought this time was different and you stick to the facts and you were correct. I was wrong. I see a lot of those comments now about the market bottom because again, our social media is, is a garbage can really. And, and it's tough to stay level headed. I think what you should do is literally get rid of all social media with crypto. I really think you should. And I think you should just start to focus just on the facts and not what you think is gonna happen, not what might happen, just analyzing the facts and making non-emotional decisions. That will save you potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in 2024 alone, just doing that. For those people who still do not believe in a four-year cyclical nature of Bitcoin, I pray for you. Because how can you look at this chart right here and say Bitcoin is not repeating the same patterns every cycle. How is it even possible to look at this chart? By the way, this chart's super clean, so it's very easy to understand. We have a bull flag, we have a breakout with the golden cross, phase one, phase two. Bull flag, breakout with the golden cross, phase one, phase two. Bull flag, breakout with the golden cross, phase one and two combined into one. Bull flag, breakout with the golden cross, phase one, phase two. Come on, man. So what do we expect to happen next? Bitcoin is potentially has a top of 48K in this phase two. 
a maximum of 48K. It's likely we may have already seen the top in this cycle, and it's likely that we may revisit the bottom in the next 100-ish days. However, the halving is on schedule to happen somewhere around April in 2024. In April of 2024, we will be roughly 183 days into phase two of the bull. Luckily for us, when we enter phase two of the bull previously, it happened to be 189 days back in 2012 and 196 days back in 2016. So we can say with, with a small bit of factual evidence, right? With two distinct cycles, that it's likely that we're still going to be in phase two when we have the halving. It's likely that we're going to be right at the tail end of phase two when we have this halving. And it's likely that after this phase two, we're going to move into phase three, which will be more bullish. Okay. And again, people will say, oh, it's because Elon tweeted this or because this person made this. Pro no, it's because of the facts and the charts. And we have been repeating these patterns for 12 years. So what I expect to happen is more of the same right? Bitcoin is going to be at the tail end of phase two. We're going to have this halving. Then we're going to move into phase three of the bull, which gets very, very interesting. And things will happen uh, a little bit faster from there. If you look at the halving from here, the halving to the top of the market, we're looking at 365 days. The halving here to the top of this market is 518 days. If we look at the halving here, to the top of the market if we go to the double top also 500 and something days right so if we look at the having here it's between three and 500 days for the top of the market so we're looking at the tail end of 24 or april 25 in this chart right here again different charts are showing different things if i were to summarize everything that i've seen in all of the charts for the top of the market it has a potential to be the tail end of 24 or potentially around the middle of 25. Those are kind of where you see the most hits of when the market top will be. This one is saying as late as towards like Q3, Q4 of 25. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Steve Courtney. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.